There we go, I'm at tier 1000. Yeah! Hey everyone, so I noticed this morning when I logged in on my phone that I've been tiered up to tier 1000 on Merch by Amazon. So I wanted to share with you experience of logging in for the first time on my laptop to get that celebrity like message that pops up and sort of share the hype with all of you. And also after that I thought I'd just talk you through sort of how many sales I've made, uh, how many uploads I've got on my account to get to tier 1000. And after that, I basically wanted to talk to you about what this means for me going forwards, the advantage it's gonna give me going into Q4, so October, November, December, the busiest months on merch, and also whether getting upgraded to tier 1000 has given me access to pop sockets, and whether it's given me access to selling in the UK and Germany, in addition to America. So stay tuned, and we'll go all through that in a second. So thanks for watching Start Starting Up, this channel all about sharing tips about selling online. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe hitting the button below. Give this video a like if you find it really interesting. And if you find it useful, then share the video with your friends. You know, they might find the information in this video useful too. And I want to start the video off by asking you, what tier are you currently on with Merch by Amazon? And how long did it take you to get to that tier? So before we jump to the computer login and get that big celebratory message on Merch by Amazon, I want to run you through basically the problems I was having with my account at tier 500 and why I wanted to upgrade so much. So, you know, I'd made a lot of sales on tier 500. I've shown you my screen before and I sold around 500, 550 shirts, and I still hadn't been upgraded to tier 1000. So I figured I needed to upload more shirts to Merch by Amazon. And if you wanted to get a sort of run through of my strategy that has got me to this point, how I've sold 500, 550 shirts already, you can download my free Merch by Amazon PDF going from tier 10 to tier 500 by going to www.startstartingup.com slash Merch by Amazon. I'll put your email address in and I'll email you that free PDF guide of how to tier up through Merch by Amazon. But yeah, I had the sales, but I wasn't being upgraded to tier 1000. And because I was only tier 500, I wasn't able to sell pop sockets. You know, I'd heard that people were getting their accounts activated to sell pop sockets and were making a killing with it. And also, I wasn't given the eligibility to sell in the UK and Germany. And I know from business experience in the past that being an early adopter into new markets gives you a huge advantage. There's less competition and you can make more sales than if you were a late comer to the party. So I really want to get these new opportunities. And I've heard that you need to be in the higher tiers to get those opportunities first. So I was really Really driven to get to tier 1000. I felt a bit limited at tier 500. But if we just log into Merch by Amazon now, let's jump over to the computer. There we go, I'm at tier 1000. Yeah, made it. Tier 1000, congratulations, you've been tiered up. Tier 1000 merch level graphics genius. So I already knew that I'd been tiered up to this because I logged in on my phone earlier but I wanted to log in on my computer, get this cool message and share it with all of you. So how did I get upgraded to tier 1000 from tier 500? Well, you can see here in my uploads now, I now have 448 shirts uploaded. Whereas before, in like last week's video, I only had 300 shirts uploaded. So I knew that I had the sales to get to Merch by Amazon tier 1000. I had over 500 shirts sold, but I wasn't being upgraded. And I've spoken in the past about the theory with Merch by Amazon that you need around 80 or 90% of the upload limits uploaded to get upgraded to the next tier. So by that I mean, you know, 80%. If you're have, if you at tier 10 and you want to get to tier 25, you need at least eight shirts or nine shirts uploaded because that's the 80, 90% mark. With tier 500, if you want to go to tier 1000, you need between 400 and 450 designs uploaded, 80, 90% of 500 to get upgraded to tier 1000, along with that high number of sales as well. So I knew that I had the sales, but I didn't have the upload limit. So in the last week, I just got my head down and focused on maximizing the amount of upload uploads that I had on Merch by Amazon. And I've uploaded another 148 shirts in the last week. And the way that I did that was by using Merch Buddy, the Google Chrome extension, to basically get my designs, copy and paste descriptions, and quickly replace the keywords from t-shirt, sweatshirt, long sleeve shirt, depending on what item I was uploading. If you want to download Merch Buddy, I'll put a link in the description below. It's a really great Google Chrome tool extension that I've spoken about tons in the past, and it really helped me get this high number of shirts uploaded in the last week. But yeah, after committing to get over the 80, 90% upload threshold, I got upgraded today, like clockwork. I got to 448 uploads yesterday, woke up this morning, and my account had been upgraded. 
So, super great news. Let's go down and I'll just show you the sales just to confirm how many sales I had to get to this tier. If we scroll down, you can see that I've made 620 sales all time now. So that's the amount of sales I had to get to upgraded, sorry, to tier 1000, along with 448 design uploads. So that's around you know, the numbers you can expect. But I think I probably would have got upgraded with a lot fewer sales, maybe 300, 400 shirt sales if I had that high upload limit. But I've been pretty lazy the last month or so. You know, I was making sales. I was like, there's no need for me to upload fresh designs. So I didn't get tiered up. But now that I actually pulled my finger out, put some more designs on there, Amazon have rewarded me by upgrading that. So let's go to the test. Let's see that now that I'm at tier 1000, if I've got access to pop sockets for one, and also if I have access to the English market, the UK market, and the German market, which is the new rollout that came this week. So first off, we're gonna to go to create and see if Amazon Merch is gonna let me create a pop socket in addition to that previous items I could sell, so the hoodies, the sweatshirts and stuff. So. The create page is loaded. Let's click on product type and see if it lets me choose pop sockets. No pop sockets. I'm on tier 1000, merch by Amazon, tier 1000, and I still can't do pop sockets. They rolled out pop sockets like a month ago and they still haven't given my account access to pop sockets. So, you know, and I've heard people who are at tier 500 don't even know if tier 100, maybe some people at tier 100 have got it, but I still haven't got it. So it just goes to show you, it doesn't really matter what tier you're at, Amazon are rolling this out at what seems to be random, you know, order, given account for randomly the access to pop sockets, and it doesn't necessarily correlate with what tier you're at, because I'm tier 1000 and they haven't given me that. But now I'm tier 1000, let's see at least if I can sell outside of America in the UK and in Germany. So let's go over to the, I think it's the manage page, we can see this. I'm gonna blur out my designs at the bottom so you know I don't want people to see what my niches are, what my targeting is. But if we look at marketplaces, the only tab that's there at the moment is Amazon.com. There's no Amazon UK and Amazon Germany. So I've been upgraded to Merch by Amazon tier 1000, but I've not yet been given access to Pop sockets, the UK market, even though I am in the UK, my account registered as a UK account, I've not been given access to the UK market or the German market. So if that people wondering, you know, how they get access to these features, it doesn't necessarily like relate to what tier you're on. So I'm sorry to break it to you. But you know, you've got to take these things in your stride. I'm sure I'm gonna get it at some point. So what are my plans moving forward? While I wanted to get to tier 1000 at least, going in to Q4, so the last three months of 2018 because I know from past experiences, from speaking to people, from seeing people sales figures in the last year, these three months are when people get the most sales of the year. People are shopping for Christmas, for the holidays, shoppers are in a, sh a buying frenzy and this is when people buy the most t-shirts. So I wanted to get as many designs active as possible uploaded before this period so that I had the most chance of making sales in Q4 and that's gonna be my focus. I'm gonna hopefully maximize and fill up all 1,000 of these design slots with Halloween designs, Thanksgiving designs, Christmas designs, and New Year's designs, you know, to try and grab some of these seasonal sales at the end of 2018. And also, I'm gonna keep hoping that I get pop sockets soon, because I hear that people are killing it with pop sockets, and also, I'm gonna hope that I get the UK market and the German market, because I'm from the UK myself, I really feel like I'm gonna have a competitive advantage over these American sellers, because I'm gonna know, you know, UK news stories, UK cultures, UK, like, jokes and memes, I feel like I can get a big advantage there. So I'm just waiting that someday, I'm hoping soon, I'm gonna get access to the UK market. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. I just wanted to celebrate reaching tier 1000. I really appreciate people following me through this Merch by Amazon journey. These are Merch Monday videos. We're gonna be doing Amazon Merch videos every Monday now, most likely. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you want help getting from tier 10 to tier 500, you can download my free Merch by Amazon guide at startstartingup.com slash Merch by Amazon. If you've had that guide, you're trying the strategies that I've laid out in that PDF and you're following other people and you're still having problems, you can contact me on my Patreon. If you become a patron using the Patreon link below or by going to patreon.com slash startstartingup, you can pay to have one-on-one -on -one monthly chats to me and I'll talk you through any problems you're having and hopefully get you making strides. So thanks for watching everyone, really appreciate the support. I'll see you very soon, bye.